While discharging this delicate office, I saw Yum Yum. We loved each other at once, but she was betrothed to her guardian Coco, a cheap tailor, and I saw that my suit was hopeless. Overwhelmed with despair, I quitted the town. Judge of my delight when I heard a month ago that Coco had been condemned to death for flirting. Well. It is true that Coco was condemned to death for flirting, but he was reprieved at the last moment. And 
raised to the exalted rank of Lord High Executioner under the following remarkable circumstances. <laughs> Mikado, virtuous man, when he to rule our land began resolved to try a plan whereby young men might best be steady. So he decreed in words succinct that all who flirt in lid or wink, unless connubially linked, should both with me beheaded, 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 should both with me beheaded. <laughs> And you prepared it, you'll agree that he was right to so decree. And I am right, and you are right, and all is right as right can be. And you are right, and we are right, and all is right as right as right can be. And all is right as right can be. Right as right can be. This stern decree you'll understand cause great dismay throughout the land for young and old and shy and bold were equally affected. The youth who winked a roving eye or breathed a non-connubial sigh was thereupon condemned to die. <laughs> he usually objected, 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 he usually objected. And you'll allow, as I expect, that he was right to so object. And I am right, and you are right, and everything is quite correct. And you are right, and we are right, and everything is right, is quite correct. And everything is quite correct. All is quite correct. Let out on bail a convict from the county jail Whose head was next on some pretext Condemned to be mown off And made him headsman for we said Who's next to be decapitated Cannot cut off another's head Until he's cut his own off His own off His own off Until he's cut his own off <laughs> We are right, I think you'll say, to argue in this kind of way. And I am right, and you are right, and all is right to lure a lay. And you are right, and we are right, and all is right to lure a lure a lay. And I am right, and you are right, and all is right. into one, and every judge is now his own executioner. But how good of you, for I see that you are a noble man of the highest rank, to condescend to tell all this to me, a mere strolling minstrel. Don't mention it. I am, in point of fact, a particularly haughty and exclusive person of pre-Adamite ancestral descent. You will understand this when I tell you that I can trace my family ancestry back to a protoplasmal primordial subatomic globule. <laughs> Consequently, my family pride is something inconceivable. I can't help it. I was born sneering. But I struggle hard to overcome this defect. I mortify my pride continually when all the great officers of state resigned in a body because they were too proud to serve under an ex-tailor. Did I not unhesitatingly accept all the posts at once. <laughs> and the salaries attached to them? <laughs> you did. It is consequently my degrading duty to serve this upstart as First Lord of the Treasury, Lord Chief Justice, 
Commander in Chief, Lord High Admiral, Master of the Buckhounds, Groom of the Backstairs, Archbishop of Titipoo, and Lord Mayor, both acting and elect, all rolled into one. And at a salary, a pooba paid for his services. I, a salaried minion, but I do it. It revolts me, but I do it. And it does you credit. <laughs> but I don't stop at that. I go and dine with middle class people on reasonable terms. I dance at cheap suburban parties for a moderate fee. I accept refreshments at any hands, however lowly. I also retail state secrets at a very low figure. For instance, any further information about Yum Yum would come under the heading of a state secret. Oh, another insult, and I think a light one. <laughs> Young man, despair, likewise go to. Yum, yum, the fair, you must not woo. It will not do, I'm sorry for you. You very imperfect ablutioner. This very day from school, yum, yum. Will wend her way and home would come. With beat the drum and a rum tum tum to wed the Lord by executioner. And the brass will crash and the trumpets pray and the cut a dash on the wedding play. She'll toddle away as all of her with the Lord by executioner. And the brass will crash and the trumpets play and the cut a dash on the case as you may see and in your place oh way i flee but don't blame me i'm sorry to be of your pleasure diminution they'll bow their back extremely soon in point of fact this afternoon a honeymoon with that boo at seven commences, so you shut her. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets pray, and the cut a dash on the wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of her with the Lord I executioner. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets play, and the cut a dash on the wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of her with the Lord I executioner.
It seems that the festivities in connection with my approaching marriage must last a week. I should like to do it handsomely, and I want to consult you as to the amount I ought to spend upon them. Certainly. In which of my capacities? As First Lord of the Treasury, Lord and High Chamberlain, uh, Attorney General, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Privy Purse, or Private Secretary? Suppose we say as Private Secretary. Well, speaking as your private secretary, I should say that as you see you will have to pay for it, don't you think you shall do it well? Exactly. As the city will have to pay for it. That is your advice? As a private secretary. Of course, you will understand that. As Chancellor of the Exchequer, I am bound to see that due economy is observed. Oh, but you just said don't stint yourself, do it well. As a private secretary. And now you say that due economy must be observed? As Chancellor of the Exchequer. I see. Come over here, where the Chancellor can't hear us. <laughs> and now then, as my solicitor, how would you advise me to deal with this difficulty? Oh, as your solicitor, I should have no hesitation in saying a chance at, uh, Thank you. I will. If it were not that... As Lord the Chief Justice, I am bound to see that the law isn't violated. I see. <laughs> Come over here, where the Chief Justice can't hear us. Now then, as First Lord of the Treasury... Uh, of course, as First Lord of the Treasury, I could propose a special vote that would cover all expenses. If it were not that, as leader of the opposition, it would be me duty to resist it tooth and nail. Or if Pim of Burger 